Before we get started, we're going to cover some of the basic tools. Um, I'll just point and uh, name them. These are the jumper leads here. These are the connection leads that connect to these test leads for this DVOM. This is a Power Probe 3, and these are micro test leads. They allow you to hook up the pins, which we'll show you later, and to do testing. Now, these two items, most people have one of these. This is called DVOM to check for continuity and voltage. And this is another item called a Power Probe 3. And this is used to hook up to your battery. And most mechanics will use this type of device. But we'll show you both. But as we continue the video, I'll be using this device through the whole video. So let's get started. Let's go through each item and show you how to test for continuity first. And then we can get the test, uh, the switch out and run our tests. Okay, first thing we want to do is we're going to look at the DVOM. Um, most people have one of these. This is a cheap version, a 1999 version. And you grab your test leads. You're always going to hook red to uh, volts. This is amps. So put it on the volt side. Just like that. Take a black black one, hook it to com. So we're going to test for continuity. Okay, and we zoomed up. I'm going to point with a screwdriver. See this symbol right here? Go ahead and select this dial. Turn over to this symbol. That's what you call continuity. So we take our dial. Switch it over to that. And then now as we zoom out, you will see the display will read one right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our test leads. We have our two test leads right here. Let's take these caps off. Okay. And when you touch these two to let, together, that one should read zero. Now, if you have a more expensive uh, DVOM, you'll hear a tone. Mine will just read zero. There you go. That, that indicates a good uh, wire or continuity in a circuit. Take it off, switch this back to one. So that's the correct way to do the uh, continuity test in the DVOM. Now, let's give you an example here. Here's one of our test leads. Okay. Black wire. This is a complete wire. Black to black. So let's do the same test. Test the wire out. Click it there. Take another test lead. Select black on there. And we've got continuity between the black test leads. So this is how you do a proper continuity test. So as we go through the video, we'll show you the multi-switch. And this is what I mean by continuity when we run this test. The uh, Let's, let's uh, show you what, how to do it with a power probe. Okay, so now we have the power probe 3. It comes in a little a box like this. It comes with the power probe, which is uh, right here. You got your regular cable. Now let's talk a little bit about the cable. Out of the cable, out of the power probe, if you look here, it comes out like this, goes around. You got a clip. This is your ground or your negative side. And this part here. Is your is going to be hooked up to the uh, positive, negative of the battery. So let's uh, go grab our cable here in the box. This is if you want to plug it into your cigarette lighter. Um, it's a little adapter to so have to plug it into the car battery. This one here is to plug in, clip it on the battery. As you see, black's always negative, red's always positive. And this wire here is your extension cable. If you need to go farther away from the vehicle, you can, I think it's like 20 feet here, I'm just guessing. Get this one here, one with the clips. Hook it up like this. There you go. And you just take a power probe, hook up positive, positive, negative, negative. We're gonna go to the car and show you really quickly how to test your power probe, make sure it's working correctly before we, we start this uh, multi-switch testing. Okay, I'm going to make this quick because it's raining out here. So you're always going to take your uh, your clips, these things here. We're going to hook it up. And what you're going to do is you're going to hook up, uh, let's see here, positive first. Always positive first. Then negative. Let's hook up positive. Now you're going to hook up negative. You hear a noise too when you do this. There you go. 
Got our power probe. Also, two lights are on. Got a display. We're gonna test for ground first. There should be the this light here should light up. And then we're gonna test for a positive. So that's the sound you want to hear. So let's go back. Let's take this back to the uh, studio here. Now, just so you know, over there is where I'm recording. So, because it's raining out and I don't want to get wet. And I have this long extension which runs from the car so I can do these tests on the bench. So that's the advantage of a power probe that you can do these tests far away from the vehicle. Okay, guys, we have a zoom uh, close up of the Power Probe 3. It's already hooked up to the car battery. This is the rocker switch. If you push up, it'll apply power. If you push down, it'll apply ground. I suggest you do not touch the switch unless you know what you're doing because you can fry electronic uh, circuits like computer circuits, BCM circuits, um, any, any 5 volt reference circuits that go to the computer. So anyway, when you push this rocker up, it's going to give me a voltage read to my battery. I got 12.5 volts right now at rest. So you don't need to do that, but that's what, how this works. And as I touch the leads, I got positive, negative. There you go. This is our ground clip. So now in theory, if I touch this to here, let's show you the display. I should get a sound. Continuity. And that's what we're going to be using today to test the pins on the switch. So let's go get the switch. Actually, before we do the switch uh, testing, we're going to talk about micro leads. As you see here, these are what they call micro test leads. Bought these at Radio Shack. I'll just show you what one looks like. Give you an idea what we're getting into here. You open these up. They're just smaller test leads to attach to pins. And we got that one. We have. Uh, See here, we got magnetic styled ones. Then we have ones that have really fine pin needles on there. Now these are rated at a. Uh, let's see here. Three. It says three. I think it says thirty volt at three amp. So you do not want to exceed this. These wires are not that thick. Take a look at some of the other test leads in the other pouch here. We actually will be using some of these today. Let's take these out. Let's go through them. This one here is designed. I don't know if I can zoom in on that, but we'll try. Okay, this is a zoom in of the uh, device. When you push the button in, see these little jaws that come out. That helps to uh, grab onto small items, especially like pins and stuff. And here's another type of, here's another style. You see my fingers, how big they are? This is what you're talking like micro, small stuff here. A little hook that comes out, grabs onto the wire. And then you have this style, fits in. And then you have this style here. Also T-pins, the back probe connectors is also highly recommended. You never want to probe from the female side of the connector um, because you will spread the pins apart and they will not make a good connection when you go to plug it back in. So you got to be careful when you do uh, tests in the switches that you don't damage them. Okay so now we're going to hook up our uh, power probe and to my test leads. What we're going to do is we're going to make this simple. This is the ground lead to the power probe. It's going to hook it up to the DVOM test lead. This isn't plugged in. We're just using this metal piece because these type of adapters here they require that you fit them in here just like this. And you push them in and now you can hook that lead up to the pins. And as for the power probe tip that's going to we're going to go probe each of the pins to run our tests. And to understand to see this let's run a test here to see if this will actually work. So I just take our little lead and this is really small here so there you go. So that's going to help me run my tests on the switch. So let's get the switch out. We'll zoom in on the pins. 
I'm going to get a second camera to run at the same time so we can show you the switch settings and the pin testing at the same time so you guys can see this clearly. So there's no, no, you guys won't have any questions to ask after we're done this video. Okay guys, today, but now we have two cameras set up here. One zoomed in on the handle, the other zoomed in on the pins on the switch. This is the multi-switch we're testing that we took out of the vehicle in part one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you through the uh, testing of the leads real quick. I'm just going to do this in one quick shot without cutting the video out. You can use it to edit later. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to change the, uh, test the mist part of the switch. That would be pins three and four. Remember I just covered earlier. We're reading the, uh, this is pin one all the way that direction. So let's go take our uh, test lead. Hook it to pins three. Take a power probe. Hook it to pin four. Got nothing. Push the switch up for mist. If I can get my finger on there. That tells me that the mist part of the switch is working correctly. Let's just let's check the off part of the switch. That would pins be pins four and five. So that was pins three and four. Now we're going to go to pins four and five. And five. Let's do the same test. Switch is off. Let's change the switch to INT. Nothing. Switch it back to off. That tells us that the off part of the circuit's working correctly. Let's check INT. That would be pins four and five too. So we don't have to change anything. Switch it down. It's off. INT. We have a correct test for that. So INT is working correctly. Let's try the low, which is pins three and four. So let's go back to pins three. And let's take a look at pins four. Right there. Switch it to low. There you go. So that's that low. The continuity on the low side of the circuit. Switch it back to INT. Off. Let's test the uh, high side of the switch. That would be pins two and three. Take our connector, pins two. Take our power probe, pins three. Got nothing. Let's switch the switch all the way down. And that's the part of the circuit's working correctly too. So that's how you do the switch testing on the uh, multi-switch to make sure that the pins are working correctly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cover a couple uh, tests that aren't included on this switch. So I don't have the settings on here but we're going to talk about it anyway before we cut the video. To test the off position of the rear wiper switch it's going to be pins 8 and 10. So you just go basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 and then you go pins 10 like that set the switch to off you should get continuity and for the uh, on part of the switch it's pin 6 and 10 so go to pin 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 pins 10 right there you should get a sound when it switches on the on position and when the rear washer is set you should get a uh, pins 6 9 and 10 so Pins 6, 9, and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you're going to go to pins 9. Set your switch to rear washer. You should get a continuity there. You should get continuity there. At pins 10. And then you're going to take a test lead. Go to pin 9. And you're going to take your power probe and go to 10. And you should get continuity. Now I don't have these pins on my switch, so I can't run these tests. But this, these are the tests you would do to test the switch on your vehicle. On a 2009 Hyundai Accent, the four door and the three door. So let's go back to the car. We're gonna test from the fuse box to the switch to make sure we have voltage at the connector. We're gonna show you how to test the uh, fuse really quick. 
and then we're going to try to install it all back together and that should wrap up this video